Right, here's the big question, though. To pivot, we'll ask about the team that's the runner-up now. Right, here's the thing, Maniac. I think the toughest question coming out of this final goes like this. How the fuck do you actually rate Ents now? I think it's the hardest question in Counter-Strike, mate. Because, like, we get into it now, but, like, on one hand, I actually think I'm overrating them because of this final. Like, I actually think I was on so much fucking opium in that final, bro. Like, <laughs> low-key, I actually really thought, like, because part of it's the romance of that, if you don't know fans, like, they are this plucky underdog team, like, Snappy, you know, his career was supposed to be over. Even people like Son Pius, that was supposed to be a fluke last year. It's supposed to be a one-off, and I'm supposed to hear for you again. So all these things are coming together. So part of me, He's really scared that I'm overhyping them and like they'll fall back off and they'll just be like the sixth best team or something. Because low key, at least before that final began, I actually, especially after the Vitality series, bro, part of me actually really does think they're like a top three team. Yeah, I in my you know book, what I mean. I can't tell if I'm overhyping them. So where are they at for no, you? Come on. I was actually, I was actually thinking about it on the elliptic bike this morning. Actually, I was trying to figure out where I stand on ends. I believe they're a top four team for me right now. Okay. I think I'm ready to put them here. Uh, the one thing I did realize. Um, looking at their their statements, looking at the results, looking at their events and all, is that they hadn't had yet a truly strong grand final to play up against. That was the first time. If you think about it, if you think about it, what happened in Dallas, they won Dallas, not in a grand final. They won Dallas in the semifinal. Yes, yes. That is when they won the event. And that was the moment. They, they go up against FaZe Clan. It's a semifinal. They're not supposed to win it. The game goes to an incredible probably one of the best ancient we've ever seen in the history of Counter-Strike. Incredible moments, good callings, good clutches, and they they beat their own demons at that moment in the semifinal, and then they completely roll over miles in the grand final. There is no conversation, there's no opposition, it's not a real test, they've won it. Now, if you think about Cologne, there are similarities. Like I think the Vitality game is where they actually shed their demons. Is that That's the game. That's the game where Sam Pius drops a, a series that's out of the fucking universe, completely makes Zywoo look like a pedestrian at the time. He is the one MVP. And I also think that they have a map pool advantage over a team that's not exactly ready at the time. Vertigo, we can, I'm sure we're going to dive into this a little bit later. Vertigo, obvious weakness for Vitality, obvious problems, structural. We can go down the drain later. But here is the problem. Here's the catch. G2 in the grand final is probably their first very big opposition at a moment where all the stakes are high and intense. And I think they were just not ready for it. It took them a map and three quarters to start their grand final. Yes. And here is the thing, even though we at the desk, we sell this narrative that it's a marathon, it's a best of five, it's very unique, it takes a long time. You cannot give G2 a head start of a map and a half because then they know how to play with the advantage. They know how to play with the pressure that's less on their shoulders. There's, there's just team roll you and they can even come back into it. So. I think Ents were not ready to start this grand final as actual um, sort of contenders to win the titles. I don't think they were ready yet, and that's why they got absolutely wrecked. But I don't, I don't see it as such a dig on them. Like I don't see it as such a huge indictment. You know what I mean? Like I think it's still a, some of the steps that they have to go through to become l like literal title contenders for these big grand finals. I, that's just how I see them. I think it was very likely a learning experience for them to show up and get their ass kicked in map one, map two. And I know how it is as a player. You, you leave map two and you're just like, has this grand final even started? Like we, we, haven't even, we haven't even played it. We haven't had the chance. And even though you wake up on Anubis, it's too late. Like there's, there's way too much behind you. You're not coming back from this. They don't have the, they don't have the spine to come back of an O2 against G2. I, I can't see it happen. Yeah, the other thing about this final to me, this is why I'm sort of joking a bit when I say, like, am I overrating them? I'm not, basically. What I saw in the other matches was real. Like, it happened. Like, it's not like it was just like they tripped over and won a game against the Vitality. Mm -hmm. Like, they played awesome, like you're saying, in that series. The real issue is, like you say, the, the context is different in the final. Like, in the final, yeah. what you really discovered then, this is why, in my opinion, by the way, semi-finals always beat finals. It's not as simple as there are twice as many of them, so you've got twice as big a chance. It's that when you play a semi semi this is the way logically it works right in a semi we're both playing to reach the final we're not mm. like no one's like oh but if i lose here i'm top no, no, no. you're just playing to, i'm trying to win the tournament I'm trying to, like, if we essentially it's like this it's like do your worst I'm, we're both going to try and play awesome and whoever outplays the other one wins in a final you get all those narratives of like oh but what happens if it, i lose and i choke and like oh they're winning and it's all about like that's why people can like play not to lose and all that jazz and it can yeah. ruin their game so to me i know what you mean essentially this this was like the first moment where like 
for all we know, in Dallas, if that really had been heroic instead of Mouse, maybe Ence would have fallen there. Maybe that would have been the big moment, you know. But as you say, the real final spiritually was the semi and they'd won it. So in some ways, you buoyed up at that point and then the better team, the Mouse, and you just, you just get swept along you with the tournament. Yeah, I know what you mean because basically the problem they have in this team, and this is where the romance of being a small org can't be ignored. The downside of being a small org is essentially you're trying to sort of be like... It'll sound like a harsh analogy, but you're trying to be like the best junk man in the world. You're trying to go out there and there's pieces like, let's be real, when Sun Pius was available for Movistar, Riders. I'm sorry, guys, there wasn't a cure on the block of like Team Liquid and Nip. Like, there wasn't 50 teams wanted him. There was a few teams and they were around. And by the way, Ence was probably the best one. It was people like an Ence, an OG, maybe a mouse themselves. This is where he was going to end up. So when you take that player, he's not actually supposed to be better than Monacy and Zebu Maniac. Like, it's actually amazing if I can get him and sort of get him to a point where he's even competing with him. So the, the one downside you have is this one, these players aren't super experienced. Like, a lot of them, these are the first first finals they're playing their whole career and we all know a lot of people do take time to acclimatize to a big pressure match and then secondly in theory your players aren't as good like g2 is a mega stacked lineup but the thing is my problem to circle it all back goes like this because of that that's actually why i do rate the snappy angle super high because I actually do get the vibe. Like, if you put almost any other IGL in, I don't think some of these players play like this, mate. Like, That's they obviously fair. might in certain rounds, but collectively, the way that team plays, it really is a team that I, I don't look at it and go, wow, what an insane lineup of players. I think it's a very well GM team, especially for, like, the money that we know budget-wise they're working with. But I actually think the craziest thing about that team is it's the way they fit together, and especially, like, yep. Snappy's calling style. Because, dude, I actually think one of the few players I wouldn't diss for the final is Snappy. I actually thought on, like, Map 2, for example, I thought he called a pretty good game. His players just couldn't hit the shots. They really were having a bad time. And then you look at some of his players, right? Here's the problem with the Sun Pius angle. Sun Pius isn't actually better than Zivu, guys. Like, I don't think he is. Like, we're all memeing on that. I know he has this weird thing where he's played in like five best of threes and won every one of them. Maybe it might turn out he has some weird direct head to head match. Who the fuck knows? Like, he might be a crypto, but he's obviously not actually better. And the real issue is it's impossible not to overrate him after that semi final. Like, that stat, like, is the one that, it's the one that just screams off the page it can't be real maniac you know in the know. semis when he had that stat where he was like 21 to 3 in openers or whatever I know like, I know bro like even real like prime simple isn't going to do that like that's that is actually like an impossible to replicate stat like he even he isn't going to do that again so you already knew he wouldn't be quite as good and then if anything I actually think the reason why I give Snappy a lot of props for this run is because if you remember in the semis it was actually Nerds that was like mad off his game and then it's like they flipped and it was some pious who was awesome and then in the final Nerds did like everything he could and then some pies don't good so it's actually here's the funny thing to be fair in how we were doing the hooksy analogy i'll actually give it up to snappy even though he just made the final and could have won it's not that every player he had went crazy like by the oh, way in, i actually thought also in the final most of his players let him down like diha had a really bad final he knows it mate i think he said it on twitter he looked like he was really out of the game this is why it's actually kind of a sad thing this is you know when fans don't get it this is why analysts hate on upsets even though this wasn't an enormous upset because the difference is right there's a world where someone on Vitality can play bad, but they wouldn't have gotten beaten like that against G2. That's know, the problem. You know what I mean? Like, I at a minimum, they would have made it a game. Whereas the problem is, Ents totally deserved to beat Vitality. But in the final, they 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 look like they themselves knew they weren't going to win this one, mate. Like, there's a I point know. in the game where you can see they're, they're checked out, you know? No, no, I'm with you on that. Um, yeah, a couple of things on what you just said. For uh, for Snappy first, yeah, I think I think he deserves a whole lot of credit for multiple reasons. First of all, individually, I was just going down the list in my head of like the actual nowadays leaders. And I think he might just be one of the strongest one individually. For straight sure. up. Like, you're gonna- He also played great in some of these maps as well, yeah. Hey, do, you, do you remember how he played against Vitality that first map they win 16-14 yes. when he has like 25 kills, bunch of clutches at the end. Like he is not only the leader, but he's a main individual reason why they win this first map. If they lose that first map, they lose 0-2, which was, by the way, my guess for the semifinal was either 2-0 Vitality yes. or 2 one ends. He, he was the reason, one of the main reasons why it wasn't the case. Um, so I think individually, he, he might be criminally underrated. I think he's a very strong IGL. If I'm going to put him in that category and compare him to the rest of the pool, I think he's very strong. Um, another thing as well to come on to the Simpias angle. Yes, he. <laughs> nobody is putting him in a conversation with Simples. I will even Monesi at the time. I do think he was an incredibly good signing 
because he has already shown me now that even with some of these like big stage or let's just say grand final jitters and having to get used to that environment, I think he's already shown way more character than Hades ever had. Yes. Very quickly. And yes, that was probably uh, an overrated performance against Vitality. There is no reason to believe it's going to remain at that exceptional level. But some of the demeanor and some of the behavior on that stage, you know, it's just him. That's who he is. And there is a very high chance he's going to maintain. And I think he's going to show up at this Seems games. like a big game player, right? Exactly. He might have games where he falls off. That's going to happen. But I think he's made of something that just he turns on when he's under the spotlight and he gets to play on the stage. And that's a great attribute. It's a great asset to have as a player. Now, he's not quite there yet. But yeah, what about the rest of the cast of Ants? Like, I think we're being way too lenient with them. Like some of other players, the Hunter, the Monacy, the Nico, whatever, we would already be completely dismembering them from the, for these kind of performances. You look at the stat for Ants the whole tournament. It's basically San Pius, Nurse a little bit behind, yes. and the rest is just all in the red. Completely yep. in the red. It's actually yeah. shocking. If you, I would say if yes. you're a fan out there and you haven't looked this up, go look up the stats he's talking about. Because you're going to think is. the opposite. Like I said, you're going to think because an underdog made the final, they must have all maxed nope. out. They didn't. That's actually the craziest part. Like they actually exactly. got almost like the minimum you'd expect possible to get to the final. And that's why and that's why I think yeah. Snappy deserves a whole lot of credit. And I think not only Snappy, but probably Ents. The way I see Ents is probably one of the teams actually today that does the best at all of the other factors that aren't individual quality. Like individual individual quality is, is inherent to a roster, right? It's the five players that you have and how strong they are individually. But all of the other factors that you can go around it, which is obviously strategies, training, however protocols you have as a team, how you prepare for an event, how you, whatever. I think they're probably really, really good at all of these factors. And that's why they get the most out of a lineup that on paper should have no business being in the grand final of Cologne. It's just a reality and it's not a dig on any of these no, players. No. But if you put them against lineups like FaZe, even hell, Na'Vi now still has simple a bit, against Vitality, against G2, it should not be the same category, but they are. And they now they're doing it repetitively. And by the way, we talk about the Vitality run. They beat Heroic the match before just to be in the semifinal. Yeah, true. Very legitimate best of 3-2 as well. 30 rounds on the map three. So all of these little, it's not little, it's not the right word. All of these external things they're doing right. I think a whole of it falls onto Snappy as well. And you have almost no choice but to respect like what he's doing with this roster and what he's been doing for quite a while now having players being picked up you you find spinks someone comes away and takes spinks away from you and then now you have nerds and who knows maybe this someone gonna be knocking at the door he's been doing that for quite a while so yeah good for snappy good for ends but as you said it's still a young roster and they were not ready to fight in that grand final as in the way a team like vitality even though on paper less ready a less polished Counter-Strike, a worse Counter-Strike, a worse map pool, a team like Vitality would have fought harder in the Grand Final. That's how I see it. To see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content, well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.